So about a week ago, I read about these guys in Montana and how they developed a 3D printed mask that can use normal surgical mask filters um, as part of the mask. They designed it using real human faces. And the best part is, is you could print this and then mold it to fit whoever's face you wanted. And they tested it out and it sure enough, it fit pretty well. Now I took the same design and I wanted to use, instead of using PLA, I wanted to use TPUs. So I printed it on my printer at home and uh, tweaked a little bit of the settings to make it work just right for this type of material. And it turned out great. Now why use TPU? Well, the best thing about TPU is um, it is flexible. So you can squish it like this and it pops right back open, just like that. So it'll conform to your face very easily. And also that you can actually suction onto your face um, just using the mask itself. Um, here I'm showing you how to assemble the filter. Now normally you'd use a surgical mask filter or an N95 filter material. Um, but if you don't have that at home, um, some literature I've read says that you can use some fabric um, and then I'm also um, supplementing that with a piece of uh, paper um, so that a paper towel, um, so you can use it as a filter mask. And then what you can do for the bands is to use a quarter inch piece of elastic. Uh, you can get this from a normal craft store, comes in little packages like this. And uh, what we're going to do is, is a pair of forceps to push that uh, elastic piece through those loops. There's four loops, so there's two on each side. So we're going to push it through on one side. Um, and what we're going to ultimately do is form a loop. Now we can push this through. Um, takes a little of effort sometimes. Once you get it through, um, there's not going to be a need to tie a knot in this. Um, this TPU filament and the size of the holes is... Um, holds it tight enough that you can put it on your face and I've been doing this for days and none of them have come out um, So what we're gonna do is we're gonna form a loop We're gonna go over to the other side and you'll see this one goes in a little bit easier um, you just pull that loop through and very easily uh, The elastic band is there and so you'll do this on the same thing on the other side And now you just wrap that around your ears and you have yourself a mask um, Super super simple just those two steps uh, filter in and put the loops in I um, also designed it so that it can be printed in two different sizes for larger and smaller faces. Put it in a Ziploc bag and you can sterilize this very easily. Take it to your friends wherever you uh, need it to go. And remember, don't panic. Um, we can 3D print it for you. Thanks for watching.